Today, I want to walk through using VS Code and agent mode with GitHub Copilot with container use. Container use lets you have multiple coding agents uh, run without any conflicts. This lets you experiment safely and discard failures and saving a lot of time and development effort. I already have this installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new directory. And in this directory, I'm going to kind of get it set up. So make sure go API and container use requires git repo. So what we're going to do is just git init and then we're going to say readme.md git and everything git commit. So now I have a basic uh, Git repo set up. So I'm going to open up VS Code now. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So container use offers a MCP server, and that's what we give the VS Code agent to run. So let's go ahead and add the MCP server here. And we're going to use stdio. And the command we're going to add is the command we're going to add is custdio, and we're going to give this a name that we can remember. So we'll call it container use. Now there's two settings. Uh, if you're working on this on just your computer and you want all your workspaces to have this, choose user settings. Otherwise, we're going to go with workspace settings because if we're working on a team, I maybe want them to also have access to this MCP server. So here you can see it's running. I have the ability to stop, restart, and I see nine tools. The other piece we have to do is we need to add instructions to tell Copilot to kind of use our MCP tools or the, the tools provided by our MCP server. So I'm going to go and curl this command. And you'll see here that I have the GitHub directory where it's telling us that Copilot should use our environment actions specifically. So with those two files added, I'm going to commit those. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Copilot and I'm going to ask it to do some work. So here I'm going to limit the scope for the tools to just the container use. Now you can see I have the MCP server configuration right here. So let's tell our agent to build a new Go API with two endpoints. If I was to see you list, you can see this is our new environment that we have and that work is, is being dedicated and isolated into that container in that environment, uh, all done automatically with CU. So now it's saying we're done. So let's see if we can get that to return the URL. So now it's saying I have two endpoints I can reach. So let's just try them out. There's the Pong, and there's the info. Perfect. And if you're wondering where those installation instructions are, they are right here. And instead of copying this locally and, and manually doing this, I just use the tool built in to VS Code. We also have the Copilot instructions here. So this looks okay, but if we look at our actual repo, we still don't have anything here. We still have what we started with. So in order to see those changes, we'll go see you terminal and we'll take that environment name as an argument. And what will happen behind the scenes is now we'll have a Go API. Let's see what is set up here with an API server, go mod and main.go. Let's look at the main.go. 
and this looks pretty pretty normal. So I think we're okay with those changes. So let's just go ahead and exit this container. And if we are okay with this, let's say see you merge and then pass that environment name. Now here you can see that we've got these git commits in our branch now. And we have a Go API in the subdirectory, which is a little weird, but that's what it chose to do. So now let's take a look at the CU watch command. And here you can see that these are the git commits that have happened for this. But let's remove this environment. And if we do CU list again, we're empty, so we're in a clean working state. Let's start a new, new chat, do the tools as well. And let's say an API works great, but it should not be in a subdirectory. Now let's do see you watch again. And you can see here that it's already made a new Git working tree and a new environment and it's putting all that work and all those actions are happening and being logged in Git. So we have a history of everything that's working. Awesome. Let's take this new environment and exit here. And let's say CU terminal again. And if we look in here, everything's kind of moved into the root directory. So we cat main.go. That looks very similar to what we had before, which is great. So let's say this is good and we'll see you merge and go back in here. And now we've kind of got that clean data structure that we were looking for, which is, this is great because we're happy with these changes and we get a lot of control over the actual work that's happening. And if you think about it, we can actually run multiple agents at the same time doing different tasks without trampling all over each other. And this is amazing. They each get their own environment that's isolated. So you have the control to iterate at your speed and you're just tasking your agents to do the work. We would love for you to try this out and tell us what you think. If you have any questions, join our growing Discord community and get involved today. We really look forward to seeing you. Thank you.